Welcome everyone to one Terran Grandmaster versus three Platinum players. In the last episode of this, we beat four golds and it was awesome. And now it's time for the Platinums to shine. Now, before I get going, just want to tell you guys, if you want to participate in these, join the Discord. And especially you guys that are trash talking the players. Like, these guys aren't masters. They play more like silver. Join the Discord. Prove us what you're worth. For now, let's begin. All right, here we go. Toxic Slums is going to be the map. I'm... Not quite sure if it's the best map for me, but it is pretty cool. I, I did lose against six silvers and bronze players on this one, so maybe it's going to be a tough one, but it's worth a shot. Now, I believe my opponents are Terran, Zerg, and Terran. I think against the golds, we had Terran, Terran, Zerg, Protoss. So overall, pretty well balanced. Would have been nice to have one Protoss, of course, to round it out. But here we go. Now, what's very interesting is that it shows me four spawning positions on the map, but there's only three players. Un unless I accidentally got a another guy in the game. No, I did it. Okay. Well, I, I guess I didn't even know that. So if you have a 4v4 match, they have to spawn all the way on the other side. They can't spawn that close to me. That's quite interesting. All right. Now let's start walling off. Um... I'm trying to think of the ideal strategy here. As always, I need to find the right balance between harassing and macroing myself. This map, the reason why... Well, th th there's two things about this map. I think a big reason why it's not that good for me is because it's incredibly hard to keep bases. Like, my base is here, okay? If that's dropped, how do I even defend that, right? Now, there is someone attacking me, the worker. Ah, a good time to remind you guys. Uh, I guess he was just scouting me because he didn't know why. They are indeed not allowed to work a rush, okay? It is, I, I say it... I pretty sure i say it every time but people still uh, ask me all the time why did they just kill you with workers they they can't okay uh <laughs> but all right they are allowed to cheese me but i'd be very interested to see how that would go because people are curious in the comments i'm very curious too if we could just got a triple cheese i mean i think i might be able to defend it well on this map we imagine like mass reapers on oh my god Imagine like six barracks proxy there with Reapers. How am I even going to defend this entire cliff? Okay, that, that seems pretty hard. Maybe on a better map, I would be able to defend it. Now, should I scout with an SCV? I think I should. So the thing is... Uh, oh yeah, I was going to say there's two things about this map. First of all, it's really hard for me because, you know, it's hard to expand. But it's good for me because of this exactly. There's a lot of space for me to outplay. Okay, so we, we are in fact being cheesed. Okay, I'm curious to see how this is going to go. So it is indeed a bunch of barracks. It could be Reapers. It could also be... But I'm going to make a third barracks myself, I think. Rather than a bunker, I'll make a third barracks. It could also be Marines. Now, Marines would be very fortunate for me because, honestly, Marine cheeses are just not that good against uh, Terran. Now, I might end up eating my wards because this is, you know, three players against me. And maybe I shouldn't... I'm not sure if I should have built it that close because the Zerg could also be bailing, busting me or attacking me with roaches, right? So I need to keep that in mind. Uh, maybe I should go for another barracks as well. Like, the thing is, we are effectively doing the same strategy. Uh, but they have more units, and I have more economy than them individually, right? So that's the thing. Now, definitely looks like it is going to be Reapers. Let's see. I'm going to have two Reapers on the right time, looks like. Now, the thing here to, to remember is these guys are not going to have the coordination of one guy using the Reapers, right? So my micro is going to be infinitely better than them. Uh, like, more than usual, I, I would say. Um, so let's see. I, I really need to know what the Zerg is up to, though. The Zerg is scaring me. I don't want to just die to the Zerg play. Okay, I need to be very careful. That's a lot of Reapers, huh? Maybe I can kill one easily. There we go. That was a pretty decent start. That's a Reaper that's going to die. Go back into the bunker. There's the Zerglings. He needs to be very careful to not overextend. Maybe I can catch the Reapers. I just wanted to make sure he doesn't hit my low HP Reaper. They should be going for the Mineral Line right now, and they will. But that is also a little bit of a trap, guys. They are stuck here now. And now I'm going to kill all these Reapers very, very, very effectively. Efficiently, and this cheese has pretty much been shut down already. Now, I still don't know what the Zerg is up to. Let me just focus the Reaper. There we go. The Reaper goes down. And now I'm going to have a little bit more freedom. I can even camp these barracks. There's so many barracks out here, but I have too many Reapers. Let me make sure I move this one back. That's another Reaper falling. The Zerg seems to be playing a macro game, so we need to keep that in mind. You never want to let a Zerg go uncontested for too long. Now, what I want to do... I'm actually going to sell versus this bunker. It's a little crazy, but might be the good idea. I'm going to go for this base as well later on. Um, I do want to make sure that they fly away the buildings, and then I'm going to do some serious damage. Who I want to do the damage to, that I'm not 100% sure about. I could go ahead and kill the Terrans, or, or one of the Terrans, rather. I could also damage the Zerg, because the Zerg is undoubtedly the most alive person in this entire game. More, more than me. 
Like, my build is not th that economic, right? So the Zerg uh, should be in a really good spot there. Now, all these barracks are burning, which is very nice. He's desperately trying to finish that Reaper. Not sure if that was the right idea, though. Now, I think I'm just going to go pay uh, the Terran player visit. Like, the Terran player should die if it's not for really good intervention from the Zerg player. That, that's, that's what I think. So here we go. He's trying to make a bunker, but he's just not going to have enough units. There are Zerg links, but that's also just not enough links here. Here we go. This is going to be really good for us. I'm going to kill so many SCVs. There, yeah, there's just not enough, not enough links. I was expecting more. Okay, there's the roaches. Um, I need to be very careful with this. I don't want to throw these units away. So what I'm going to do is just kind of micro this forever. Like, Reapers have the speed advantage, right? I mean, this player is pretty much still dying despite the roaches being here. And now after that, I can go, go pay the other Terran a visit. I really like the way this is going, guys. There's not that many links. This Terran player doesn't have his expansion yet either. Let's see what we have over here. Nothing really yet. He's trying to make a cyclone. He has two bunkers, but he doesn't have units for it. I, I can even wall in this marine over here look at actually i don't think i want to i think i really want to go for some damage here there we go let's try to wall off this base a little bit so this terran player is also definitely suffering and now we're gonna pay the zerg player a visit it's not that many zerglings i can out micro it but yeah one reaper already falls that's kind of annoying but it is what it is now maybe i can stay here forever like his his plan is roaches and the roaches are not here he did save the drones which is well done by him let's try to take the other base and now i'm gonna start killing the drones of the zerg player obviously in the meantime the terran players are rebuilding but the amount of damage that's being done here is pretty crazy now i'm gonna get my follow-up going here um should i go for a third command center or for extra barracks i'm not sure i feel like extra barracks might be smarter uh or sorry a third command center might be smarter because i don't think all linning against three players is that good of an idea i need to just keep willing their economy down uh, at this point i mean it's easy to think i'm winning but they still have more economy than me of course being uh being three players and all that now let's see if i can do some more damage it all is really nice marines are also very bad against reapers before you have stim and stuff so those marines that he has can't really do anything we go more economic damage still doesn't have his natural as well which is great and now we're gonna start making medivacs i think the bunker i have in front of my main base uh, is very important because that stops run buys from being too powerful let's see okay i, I was kind of thinking he would make a cyclone but he had a tank against a tank we you know we don't want to mess with that so i'm gonna make a bunker here too oh that's a lot of roaches that i missed they definitely lost uh, two reapers there i want to say i'm gonna make a bunker here too because run buys are super powerful in these 1vx challenges because they have way more attention than me right now the zerg player i'm so happy that he's been spamming units i feel like the, the zerg player has been defending my attacks a little bit too much uh, and that's gonna end up being really good for me oh gonna get this queen that's very nice oh i'm so glad to see the roaches here by the way those roaches probably should have gone down to the natural okay now i'm gonna do a really big drop against the terran player maybe i can escape here because i know the tank is pretty far to the right okay not another hit that's really nice now i am gonna put a couple marines in the bunker over here let's make sure i don't get supply blocked at the same time combat shields on the way already and i'm gonna start producing my first tanks which are uh, very very important of course okay so the tank is there that's good to know uh, the tank is out of range uh, or it's, it's in the range of the uh, of the mineral line, so I can't drop there. But I can deny his upgrades over here. Here we go. I think we can click that upgrade without being in danger. Oh, that is super, super comfortable. And Marines without upgrades, they really suck, guys. They do. Uh, so this is going to be very nice for me. The tank can't reach this anymore. And that's another barracks that's going to fall. And that's fantastic. Now... I think it would be smart for me to maybe check for hidden expansions or something. Um, like, I know we did a lot of damage, but it's also not like, you know, they, they, they have nothing going for themselves. Like, combined, they still have way more workers than me. I don't think I want to fight that many roaches yet. I'm just going to keep choosing for the outplay option. It's just a little bit smarter at this point. I'm going to put my, uh, my Reapers over here. It's not that many yet, but maybe I can just deny some economy for free. I'm going to click a medevac on those ravagers to keep vision forever. And then I do want to get a third base up uh, sooner rather than later. If I click them on the ravager, it's also going to be... Oh, nice. We're going to get some fresh mules. It's also going to be really hard for him to buy all them. You need pretty good micro to do that. Here we go. Denying some more Terran economy. That is great. I don't think... Oh, the tank is right here. Ah, oh, no. He has another one. His army does look very big, guys. I have to say. The Terran army does not look uh, very pleasant to me. But the Zerg is finally going to take some more damage. So that's nice. And as long as I keep making tanks on my own, uh, I think we're pretty okay. Now, I can kill a lot of Zerglings with this if he fights in a choke. The Roach Ravager we can't kill. But we can kill a lot of Zerglings. Looks like he split them um, up, though. I'm not sure where the Zerglings went. Okay, the Zerglings are here. 
I think we can kill these. Look, I'm just going to go down here in this little choke, and then the Zerglings are really going to struggle. And then as soon as the Zerglings are dead, I'm just going to go back into the main base. Here we go. And this has been really, really good for us, guys. This guy is taking a lot of damage. Now, I'm still quite worried about the top Terran player, I have to say. His army was quite big, so what I'm going to do is I am going to make a sensor tower and some turrets now these ravagers are not in the best position so i'm going to target down a few of those if you guys wonder if that worth it the ravager is 100 100 so i just killed 300 300 with that uh definitely worth it very good trade actually now oh wait a really good choice here i think liberators are going to be fantastic i haven't really wanted to do more harassment because i'm getting scared of a counterattack. that's what they usually do at some point and make sure I hotkey this engineering bay. But liberators are going to shut this down completely. The drops might not, but liberators will. And I have enough medevacs for my uh, army now. So I really like this idea. Now, what I want to do is I want to move straight over the middle. I, I know it's a little bit crazy, but I want to move straight over the middle. And kind of try to get in between these bases. I think that's the best plan. Now, I'm going to take this watchtower with one of my guys over here. There's also gold bases on the map, which you have to be... Uh, very aware of. I do see a really good choice sensor tower. Okay, you can tell uh, they watch my videos. I always complain about people not making sensor towers despite them being so good. Now, I don't see the army here. Uh, I think I think the worst thing that I have done is just not make upgrades. I feel like better upgrades really matter a lot in Marine against Marine, and I just don't really have them. Now, I do have better upgrades than this guy, and he doesn't have medivacs. I can just kill his command center from here. These are... Oh, he does have stim on those, so let's try to get out. I think I saved... Uh, yeah, not all of them, but most, which is pretty good. Now, if he does doesn't have a turret here. Uh, I'm gonna get a lot of damage done with these liberators. Might even cause an F2 to happen. Uh, okay, so he does have a few turrets. Now, if I siege this, I would I would be surprised if he doesn't F2 here because it always creates a little bit of panic, right? Um, so I'm gonna wait with this drop. Let's see, yeah, so the Zerg player is still here, but the Terran player isn't. I can drop right outside of range. He is going for a fusion core, which is, ah, that tank. Now, maybe I can just go here. I'm already unloaded. Yeah, this is this is looking pretty good here, guys. He does have decent upgrades. Uh, or did I see one? One or zero, zero. I'm not actually sure. He has, uh, ooh, those medivacs are not supposed to be there. I guess that army already died. Um, but I did I get cleaned up there. Those liberators are doing a fantastic job. And I'm going to get the natural there. Okay, that's super nice. Terran player is going to be quite low on economy from now on. Now, I did lose my liberators, but I think they did a fantastic job. Let's get some more stuff up here. Gonna get a second factory uh, and go up to four barracks. Make an extra sensor tower as well. And now I think we're getting closer and closer to maybe creating uh, a good situation. I think the biggest power that I have is siege tanks. If I get mass siege tanks later on, you can really overcome pretty big army deficits. So that's what I'm gonna be looking for. I wanna make enough siege tanks so that I can force them into a really, uh, yeah, terrible fight and then I can kill a really big army pretty much, uh, or well, completely by myself. Maybe even with just the siege tanks. Now maybe I can sneak in here. Let's see. Oh, that is barely gonna get up in time. That's unfortunate. I'll just siege this. See, I'm gonna be able to snipe his engineering bay. No combat shield yet for that guy. So that's really nice. There we go, the engineering bay falls. I got a couple more liberators uh, coming across the bottom now. Can also check if he has the bases at the same time. And I'm gonna have to make some more depots as well. You know, looking at it, I'm not sure if I would have preferred getting faster upgrades because the pace of the game does seem quite nice for me at the moment. Now, the Zerg has Ravagers. That's something you have to be scared of. He has Vikings, but he didn't target uh, the, the right uh, medevac, so that's pretty nice for me. That is a really good, uh, you know, Spore for my Liberator play. I'm gonna try to see this over here. These wood dies have to be careful. Yo, I'm killing his tanks with these as well. Maybe I can unload over here on the Vikings and snipe them. And he I'm so lucky there. He got the wrong medevac. That is really, really, really nice. And now I got a drop over here. That's doing a decent amount of damage. This Liberator uh, is, is, is doing a decent amount of work. Now, these are medevacs, so I should stop rallying those. And uh, those Liberators were awesome. And we got the Fusion Core. I am gonna... No, that already has two turrets. I'm gonna add a couple more turrets. Let me make sure I kill uh, the SCVs over here repairing this. Uh, just in case he did get a battle cruiser out, because he does have the fusion core man he's losing so many workers here this is fantastic i'm gonna split uh, let me just escape at this point i'm gonna split or i was gonna split uh, to negate the damage of the siege tanks but i think we uh, we did well enough there and of course his units were approaching now how many medevacs do i have at home it's not that well no it's actually a decent amount it's just that a lot of them are low hp now i have a very good army i think it's a good time for me to move out at least among the top the Zerg does not have upgrades yet. That is very pleasant to see. I'm already going to be starting on my 2-2 here. And taking... This is my fourth base. I have good defenses, by the way. Like, this is where my rally is. Planetary is my third. Bunker, my natural. I do have some really good defense. Let's see if I can find an army over here. He doesn't have those bases, which is really nice. Now, what I'm going to do here is a little questionable. I'm going to siege his base from behind. Uh, but the truth...
truth is, it's usually better to get a big fight. This is mostly going to open me up to counter attacks. Um, and it's usually better to just try and win in a big fight, especially with all these siege tanks. Let me try and deny this base one more time. Here we go. Got a couple more liberators on the way, too. Yeah, I guess I guess I could drop these. I'm, I'm not even sure how it happened. I don't remember sending these, to be honest, but I guess I'll take it. Now, maybe I should move up a little bit more. Did a good amount of damage there. I have I'm, He overstimmed all of those. You guys saw that? Those Marines are freaking a lot of health, and I don't think that was my fault. <laughs> I think he pretty much just uh, overstimmed those all the time. Here we go. Bailing Nest is on the way. Okay, that gets a little bit scary. There's not much you can do um, against mass bailings with just Marine Tank. Like, mass bailings are really good against those, though. There's not that much creep at the same time, so maybe there is. If he's not... Oh, okay, I was going to say, if he's not going to target that... Um, wait. Oh, I got the Starport making the battle cruiser. That's super, super nice. If he wasn't going to target the Medivac, I could have escaped, but there, there was no other target anymore, of course, so he did kill that. Now, let's see. I, I, I'm kind of scared of their combined army. I'm not sure what their combined army mo looks like more than anything else. Now, I got a... Oh, it's just one Liberator, actually. One Liberator over here. I'm going to try the seats forward a little bit more slowly now. More to control the position. Yeah, exactly. More to control the position than anything else, right? Here we go. And I'm going to try stimming in the Terran's base over here. Road Ravager is not good at attacking into Siege Tank. So if he wants to try, uh, he can be my guest. I mean, he, he could probably break it if he had enough. I feel like it's going to be very efficient for me anyway, though. So this guy's tanks go down. I got a Liberator in his base as well. Oh, here's the other Liberator. I knew I had it somewhere. So his base is going to fall relatively comfortably. Now his teammate is trying to help him from the low ground. Here we go, the Roach attack. Now he is going to clean it up pretty well, but it took a long time and his teammate is pretty much already dead by the time. So I would say that this was a fantastic trade for me. 2-2 is already finished, so that's really, really nice. Let's try to get uh, this base a little more saturated as well. I'm going to make this a planetary just... So I don't have to deal with any eventual counterattacks. Now, they have been very passive after that, uh, you know, initial start to the game. Well, let's see. Can I do something here, maybe? I'm going to try to drop those over. Oh, no. Oh, that one turret. That is painful. Let me just make sure to get these uh, Marines split so I can actually kill the siege tank and the rest of the workers. Now, I have uh, a crazy amount of liberators just pouring across the map. Yeah, I, I don't think I should be making any more at this point because my army uh, is pretty big, but I don't really have medevacs for uh, for the big push that I want to do. Though I could use the liberators for that as well, of course. Let's see. The upgrades are still 0-0. Zero, zero. Yeah, my, my upgrades are the biggest thing I have going for me. Like, the upgrades are just insane. Marines are awful when fighting against Marines with more upgrades. Like, you just, you just need to make upgrades no matter what. So let's see. Now, he does have the gold base. That is not something I can allow. I'm going to try to start sieging this slowly. So if he wants to attack me, let's see. Make sure they're not buyable by one thing. If he wants to attack me here, he is going to suffer. I can tell you guys that much. He doesn't want to attack into this. Yo, that's actually kind of hard to buy with, like, the weird high ground and stuff over there. Not bad. Now, I feel like I still want to check the top left for a hidden base or something like that. I'm going to check it with these. Maybe... Should I put units in this drop? Ah, uh, well, I, I guess I might as well. We do have a pretty good chokehold on this. I'm going to scan this bottom to make sure there's nothing there. And then I'll just patrol these back and forth. I'll put two tanks in here uh, and eight marines. And then I'm going to send the rest of the marines to kind of hold that tower over there. Now, he has Bailings. Against Bailings, you never want to push forward too fast. Because, I mean, I, I, if you guys play Terran on the ladder, you've probably had it at some point that you try to, uh, you know, or you try to move out with your army, especially on the creep. You don't pay attention for the second and all of a sudden your army is gone definitely does happen oh he's attacking in a little bit on accent that's very nice now this base is not taken yet which is uh fantastic for us i, I still don't think this is a position he can attack into good uses of the viking there for sure might be able to get a spore crawler with those marines down there let's see oh i need to run oh this was such a good bait there we go fantastic i'm gonna get some creep tumors too which is really important look at the tanks just shelling away oh he cannot attack into that guys and now we have another drop in the main base of this guy but in fact i'm gonna go past and i'm gonna drop my tanks over here in a fantastic spot if he doesn't have that much to deal with it this could be very annoying for him to deal with gonna make sure that i kill uh, the turrets so well i mean it's kind of too late already but I, I think it's nice anyway to get rid of the turrets he does have a good enough army uh, to kill me so i have to be careful now, these Marines, maybe... Oh, let me move those back to the tanks. He, he can't attack into that, by the way. I think he's just mostly too scared. This is not a surprising amount of damage to this attack over here. I need to make sure I keep having the Watchtower. That's going to be nice. And now my reinforcements have arrived, and I, I feel like this is the kind of army which I can push forward with finally. Like, I have just enough units to go for it. If he wants to try and attack me, I'm still pretty confident I win. Like, they really need to use all the units together, or they won't be able to do it. I'm just going to try to keep expanding on this side over here. 
to make sure to not get Bailinked. Okay, didn't get Bailinked. Instead, he's just losing a lot of units. Let me target fire that one Bailing over there. That army is still alive. I have a few Marines over here as well, saving me, or say, yeah, you know, detecting that base, which is super nice. And I feel like if we get just the chokehold on the Zerg, that's all we need uh, to finish this game, really. He did kill my siege tanks, but not the army, which is... I, I'm not sure how that happened. It's quite fascinating, to say the least. All right, let's get all of those tanks over here. I, he can't fight this. They're a little bit too far away from the ramp, too. Look at this. Oh, this is going to be an absolutely brutal fight. My tanks are getting all the hits on the road. So, yeah, that is insane. And now I'll be able to move forward with the rest as well. There is still a decently sized Terran army, but I don't think it's enough because he has no upgrades. The upgrades are just super important, and now we can move forward after that last fight against the Zerg. We're going to get the high ground over here. And, I mean, the Viking control has been awesome, but I just don't think it's going to be enough at this point. Even if he kills my uh, my medivacs, you know, I'm already on five bases. I did fly one base too far uh, on accident. <laughs> it's got a, a little hidden base over there, right? And here we go. Just make sure to siege these tanks because the Terran should be trying to help here. I mean, I would say that is their last chance. But one thing they could have is they have a little star portion. That's something I need to be careful for. There's like a ton of BCs out all of a sudden with tanks. That is definitely going to be pretty scary. Uh, so I'm just going to add the starports in case. I mean, I think I've done enough economic damage to prevent that. But uh, yeah, better safe than sorry, I suppose. Now, we are finally being counterattacked here. I feel like I've been waiting for this the entire game. I prepared so well for the counterattacks, but they just never did it. That, that is that is a rather big army. I, I have to admit that. It's actually a bigger army than I would have expected. So I'm going to go back with a bunch and attack with the rest. Oh, I need to be very careful here, because if I... Uh, put my tanks a little bit too far forward that's going to be problematic now there's nothing here left that can stop me so i need to make sure to kill that bases as fast as possible um one of my factories is down here which is super nice we're going to make sure to make a couple more liberator maybe i could send these back as well that's not a bad idea i'll just make sure to send these back so, try to kill all the suvs and oh that widow mine really hurt oh my goodness that is a very painful widow mine uh let's see oh i'm gonna siege here i think i have enough marines oh he's getting too close i have enough tanks i mean he's getting too close with the marines all the marines are gonna die and keep in mind guys i have liberators on the way if he doesn't have the marines left yeah the last marines are gonna die there we go i can just siege on top of his tanks now Fluxel has called the gg i'm not quite sure the rest is on board with it yet so i'm gonna keep trying i did lose my star where, where did i even build those star so oh, here they are so he does have a liberator as well but at this point i don't have any units yet and they have called gg and there we freaking go guys three platinums have been defeated and that is an absolutely awesome game now a lot of people showed up today and last time in the gold challenge a lot of people said this might be a fluke you should give them a rematch what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna play against three completely different platinums as well let's do it all right, this time we're playing as a Terran, Protoss, and a Zerg. We have Sir Vlad returning from the gold challenge. In that one, he played with his gold Protoss, and now he's going to play with his platinum Terran. Terran OP, am I right? And we do have the Zerg player returning, because it's just a very beautiful lineup. But like this, Terran, Protoss, and Zerg, it was our only Zerg. Makes for a really good variation. I'm going to play on a different map, because I like the variety. I don't think this map might be... Uh, better for macro games, but it's definitely way harder to harass early on. So I'm kind of curious how that goes. That was pretty funny. I saw uh, the guys we played in game number one give tips uh, to the new guys. And they said, pro tip guys, don't try to proxy reaper him. It's not going to work. <laughs> it was kind of funny to think that I kind of uh, owned that. Oh, wait, like, now I can see exactly where they spawn. Okay. The, the, the last game I couldn't, it gave me four spots. But now I can see exactly where they spawn. That's great. Uh, but yeah, the, the reaper micro is pretty hard, guys. I know sometimes I can make it look easy, but it's something I needed to play years and years for to actually perfect. Now, I am going to go for a similar strategy. Uh, hopefully, I mean, if I get attacked, everything changes, right? But hopefully, I don't have to go uh, for three racks Reaper again. I would like to just go for two racks. They are slightly further away. Um, who do I want to attack? I, I think I need to SCV scout because I don't want to attack the Protoss. Reapers are just not, not that great against Protoss. Um, but Protoss is maybe also the scariest early on. Like, if I think of things I could die to, the first thing that comes to mind is like... An Oracle when I don't have anti-air or DTs when I don't have detection. So taking care of the Protoss early on would also be pretty nice. Though what you can see in the last game is that no matter how much damage you do, and even if they open with a cheese, they can still build up because I don't have the, the constant pressure on them alone. Like I'm dealing with three players at the same time, right? So um, yeah, I guess I'm just going to scout this guy over here. And... I guess I'll decide after I see what race he is if I attack him or not. Like, there's actually a little bit of a trick here. You you can't jump up here, even though you might think on the first side that you can. You, you can jump in here, I believe, but not, not over there. Um, so that is something that could be slightly tricky if I do decide to attack that base. 
I'm going to use this SUV to make a depot. What's nice on this map is that I have my bases laid out for me. Okay, so the Zerg is most likely the closest. I mean, it's kind of hard to calculate the overlord distance, right? But the Zerg is most likely the closest. I I'm actually going to scout this one. I, I didn't realize. I forgot you had to walk all the way around on this map. Well, I guess you have to walk around this way too. Uh, but if I already know that one is the Zerg... Do I want to attack the Zerg? I mean, Zergs are usually a little bit more peaceful at the start, you know? Mm, but it's also the closest, I guess. Yeah, because I can jump down there with the Reaper. All right, I guess we'll see. I should probably expand on the high ground to be safe, but I'm going to take a small risk here. And the reason why is because the multitasking gets really, really intense. And Oh, wait, you can jump up there? Oh, I lied to you guys. My bad. I didn't mean to. Okay, so this Zerg is playing pretty normal, looks like. He doesn't have 100 gas for speed yet. Judging from what I see, that player looks like a Terran that I just scouted. No, that was actually a pull first. The Queen was faster. Yeah, this is a Terran. And he's making Marauders to defend against the Reapers. All right, they're already uh, starting the Evolve a little bit. I Undoubtedly, they discussed with each other uh, what strategy I did in the last game, right? So uh, that, that's cool to see them adapting. Guess I'll just be attacking the Zerg. He could be going for Roaches really fast, too. I do think it would be a really good strategy from them to just make those bulky units that I can't bully with Reapers early on, like Roaches and Marauders. And here we go. I'm getting a lot of damage over here. Let me make sure I don't lose this Reaper. I, I want to guess that it... Yeah, okay, it is Roaches. That, that's what I thought. Yeah, so many units are going to fall here. This is fantastic for us. I think I should start making a bunker, most likely. A bunker would be pretty decent on that ramp over there. Going to make a factory, and then I'll start making Marines. I do have five Reapers. I wouldn't be surprised if the teammates are coming to help him. That's one big advantage for me of them not making reapers but making marauders instead by the way is that marauders are just not good at helping the t-base like they're very slow you can see stalkers are coming but reapers would have been way faster to help and now uh, the zerg player is is i mean i wouldn't say dead definitely not entirely dead but definitely suffering here that queen is gonna die too let me save that reaper I'm gonna try kill more drones i know the protoss units are here but the more drones i can kill the better of course there go some some uh, insane knowledge by me there guys the more workers you kill the better trust me Okay, wait, did I kill the Overlord? I, oh, the Overlord was 1 HP. Now, he does finally have a Roach out. Roaches are very good against Reapers, so I need to be careful. He's not really controlling it. He's just clicking it away. And now I'm just going to go back into the main base immediately. Let me switch over the mining to there. Uh, and I'm just going to target the drones. Like, losing Reapers would suck. But this guy is on so little drones. And the difference between eight drones and two is obviously pretty big. Uh, so the more drones I kill, uh, the less... Or the slower, I want to say. The slower or the, the more time he's going to need to recover. And then I can just leave him alone for a while. Now, do I go for an eBay or a third barracks? That's something I'm not sure about. I think I'm going to go for the third barracks first. And let's try to do some damage to the Protoss player over here. Man, the Reapers are doing so much damage consistently in this game. I can't believe how many kills I got against the Zerg. Now, good surround by the Protoss over here, so I can't easily run away. But maybe I still have some moves. Let's go down here. You can tell there's a lot of gateways, so we can definitely expect some kind of big attack with Blink happening. But once again, doing a lot of damage here, guys. This Protoss is not going to be able to use all those gateways to warp in Stalkers. Ah, oh, this is so nice. I need to make sure that I get tanks up, though. Without tanks, this is going to be uh, probably a little bit of a painful affair. Let's get you over here. My Reapers are finally dead, but let's be honest, they, they did their job, all right? Those Reapers were freaking insane. I need to send those workers back. It's a little bit hard to keep track of your economy, believe it or not, when you're dealing with three players at once. It's... Um Oh, yeah, I was going to say it's not as easy as it looks, but I really doubt anyone is watching. This is like, man, this is so easy. I mean, if you are, sure. I mean, uh, play me next, right? But <laughs> otherwise... All right, let's get back to focusing on the game. So I did a lot of damage to the Zerg. I did zero damage to the Terran. That's scary. Stuff like Battlecruisers could be happening soon. Um, but I did a decent amount of damage to the Protoss as well. Now, let's see what the Terran is up to. I I'm going to make turrets because Banshees and BCs are really my main worry here. Now, I'm going to start dropping the Zerg. This could be risky because we might get attacked by Blink Stalkers. That's why I'm going to make another bunker there. But with this, I can either kill the Zerg or pull all of them back to help the Zerg, which would be fantastic, right? Now, when do I take my third base? That's the question. Okay, so we were spotted. That's unfortunate. I mean, we'd have to be pretty unlucky for them to be ready for this still. Oh, that's a lot of drones that are going to die very easily. That is super nice. Let's make sure I kill the Overlord. There we go. I think I'm going to go for the hatchery here uh, to just completely get the Zerg out of the game. Some more drones dying as well. I do have to imagine the Blink Stalkers are on the way here, and that's something I need to be careful for. Let's see. Okay, there's actually no units here. Um, I mean, if they're not going to help the Zerg, then I will just kill the Zerg. They, they could try to kill me instead of helping. 
but I mean, I have my tanks and stuff already. It's not that many roaches, you know. I can kill this amount of roaches with my marines. Okay, here are the blink stalkers. I'm going to try to get away with this medevac. I know he has blink. Probably going to try to blink on top. Looks like the Terran is making Thors. Okay, that's not a bad idea. Thors are pretty good. Those capital ships and big units are, are usually the thing I struggle with the most. So now we're getting in here. I mean, the Thors aren't ready yet. And guys, I am making tanks already. So we have the defense against the Thors pretty much. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say unlock because we only have, I'm pretty sure that's like our, yeah, that's our second tank coming out there. So it's really not that magical. Oh, oh I have one more medevac, right? Yeah, I do. Now, that looked like a spore crawler to me. I would have to guess the Protoss is already gone from here. Nah, there's too many roaches. He does have full saturation. Research. Keep in mind, in team games, you can share uh, resources with each other. So even if you eliminate someone from the game, you can never truly eliminate them unless they have zero drones. And we're going to kill another base. I want to do another drop on the left side. Not even necessarily to do damage. Oh, no. No cancel on the hatchery. That's 300 minerals. If he asked his ally for minerals again after doing that, they might be slightly upset with him, you know? want to be careful with those things. But I want to make sure there's no bases up here. I really want to keep them confined to their corner of the map. Uh, obviously, I need to do more damage to make this happen at some point. But so far, I think we are doing just fine. Let's see. I, I also... I think we are... I, I wouldn't say lucky. But maybe our strategy lined up perfectly against the Protoss player because what he was doing is he was powering up. Oh, that's that's a scan. All right, that's not a bad scan at all. Uh, he was powering up to do a big attack with a lot of gateways. But then I killed his workers before he had the money to use the gateway. So then he was just stuck with a lot of wasted money that he couldn't use. And that kind of uh, hamstrung the Protoss a little bit there. And uh, now let's see. I mean, it, it, they could have sent stalkers over here. So I, I'm, I'm looking at the minimap. Uh, you know, I'm kind of staring at it because I was really scared that stalkers would show up there. So we're going to get more. And Marines, let's get a second factory as well. I mean, they should be ready for this drop. So I'm going to scan. Oh, not ready yet. He's making cannons, but those are barely too late, I think. This is kind of a risky move by me to go in here. But I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to scan. Oh, the units aren't here by the Protoss, guys. There we go. If the Blink Stalkers were here, this would probably not be the best move ever. Uh, I should really get out of here. But I'm going to try to kill one of these Artosis pylons before I do. And there we go. Really good attack. Uh... Probably shouldn't have picked up those last three marines because I even got attacked there. That was a little risky, but uh, you guys know I do like the thrill. Now it's time for me to start adding some sensor towers on both sides, ideally. Get a turret here as well. Looks like uh, the Terran is really going for just a big mech play. Like, not necessarily Thor's like I thought. I think he's just getting upgrades in mech, it seems like. It else we would have been attacked a little faster. Now, one thing that I'm afraid to do is move out with my army. I don't think we've done enough damage to really make that happen. Little bit of micro, and we can't kill the siege. Oh, my goodness. Okay, little bit of micro, we can't kill the siege tanks. That's nice. And now, I can just keep going back and forth here. What, what I'm very happy with is that this uh, Terran player is struggling with very minimal aggression. Like, it's really just a small drop that is just annoying the hell out of him pretty much now let's start getting the upgrades or or at least set us up for 2-2 the protoss can't break me at all because i have all these tanks on the high ground I'm, i have no idea why the third isn't built or the yeah why the third isn't building but okay now the zerg i think they're giving some money to the zerg yeah I, I think i see what's going on just by calculating how much stuff they have i'm pretty certain that the terran player has been giving money to the zerg because the zerg has a little bit more than he should and the terran has a little bit less than he should now we are gonna get attacked here i didn't really think he was still gonna go for this after i kind of thought he found the wrong base you know uh but all right good good move by him it's gonna get a little bit of damage but not that much luckily uh, and that's really nice now it does look like there's a massive army uh i mean i think i just set up perfectly in time yes it's super nice look at this okay now what I'm going to do... Oh no, you don't want to do that, Mr. Protoss. No, you're crazy with it. Why are you going in here? Oh no, that is every single stalker did. The recall is very late. And those stalkers, most importantly perhaps, were the defenders for those tanks. So now I can see the Liberator on top. And that is going to ruin the entire plan of this Terran player. That was not a good move, Mr. Protoss. I'm sorry. I don't want to be harsh, but that might have cost your team a little bit there. Let's start getting some more medevacs. The Zerg is definitely still struggling. I do want to get a fourth base at some point. That was going to be very hard with the Stalkers, but now... I, I think I'm even going to build it on location because the Stalkers are gone. That is not a move the Protoss is going to repeat, most likely. Oh, wait. Maybe I could send the, the Liberators to the left side as well to harass. I was struggling to find a place to use them. These medevacs are... I always hate it when it happens. When you heal so much, you stim and you take damage that your medevacs don't have energy anymore. Like, it feels awful. I do have to say... Apologies to this Zerg player, because this Zerg player has 
not really been able to play the game at all. And that is, you know, not really what I want to do with these challenges. But it is what it is. I, I, I gotta do what I gotta do, guys. What can I say? Gotta do what I gotta do. I'm gonna get a few more medivacs out so I can do some more drops. I, I mean, I think... Oh, can I hit it from the high ground? I think I barely can, right? Yeah, super nice. Okay. So he just dropped three mules. That is about 600 minerals that are gonna be wasted pretty much. That is a very nice catch. I feel like I saw something here. I don't know what it was, but I feel like I saw something. I, I think this Liberator can seize this mineral line barely, right? But Yeah, exactly, without being hit by the cannon. Very nice. Okay, so I did see something there. I wasn't crazy. Uh, good to know I wasn't crazy, at least. Let's see, maybe I can kill the Vikings. Yeah, the Terran is going for a super mech play. All right, so this game, more than the other game, we are going to need a little bit of a late game transition. Um, oh, this is doing so much freaking damage, guys. We are going to need a little bit of a late game transition because there is a strong mech play. Look at this amount of tanks. But guys, I am very tempted to just go for this right now, I have to say. Like, he, I, I don't think he's paying attention. It's a really crazy move, but... Okay, here we go. Oh my god, guys, not paying attention. This is going to be a massive move. He might try to siege, but then I'll get grab two tanks. He's just running away so far. Yeah, now we're going to run. Two tanks, killed it pretty much instantly. He's going to try to attack me. I, I don't think you want to do that. That is a lot of freaking tanks. Oh my god. And now what I want to do here, this is going to be a crucial move. Oh, he did see my Medivacs move out. That's kind of unfortunate. Uh, this is going to be a crucial move. I want to drop the main base of the Terran player, because the Terran player is what scares me the most here. Protoss mostly has a ground army, uh, which obviously is pretty good. Is that it? Okay, I thought I had turrets there. I was wondering how this could even swipe away. Uh, the Protoss has ground army with what I can deal with, but the Terran is playing mech, which I cannot really kill. So I want to make sure I go through everything to kill the Terran player. I think this is a really good move here. I don't have that many tanks, so if he has uh, good armor upgrades, this is going to be tough. But for now, uh, I'm really a big fan of this move here. I think I'm going to start moving out to the front as well. Okay, so yeah, the Terran player is still there. That is uh, quite tough to deal with. I can't really move out against the tanks unless I have a couple Liberators. I'm going to kill a couple of my Marines just so I can start the Liberator. I think it's a good idea. Here we go. We're going to start a couple. Now, I'm going to scan. Okay, so they're both moving back. Uh, the, Zer the Zerg player is, is still dead, I think, uh, because that's why he's typing. Yeah, I'm going to get... You know what? I think I'm going to make some planetaries here. I, I think it's a good idea because I, I could technically lose a fight. Like, my army is mostly tanks, which is really weak against, uh, you know, a lot of Zealots and Archons, for example. But if I say seized, I will win. I just want to make sure that I have a backbone in case we get pushed back. Oh, those tanks. The tanks are on siege. Oh, no. It's a huge mistake by Vlad. We're going to kill five tanks really fast. Uh, and I think that was a really good trade. Now, the RDTs there. I need to make sure I deal with those appropriately. Here we go. I don't know if he has blink on those. He could technically have blink. I'm not sure if he does. Just, I have a turret there, I hope. Okay, thank goodness I did. <laughs> it would be very sad if I didn't have a turret there. Now, I have a couple liberators. Let's see if I can attack the front. Yo, this tank survived. Wait. This, that liberator was alive all this time? Oh my god. That's pretty crazy. Now, I did lose a ton of supply there. If you look at my supply, it doesn't look super healthy anymore. This tank is doing really, really good. Uh, I don't know, guys. Maybe I should be... Well, I'm just going to take care of this prism. This is starting to get a little bit... Wait, where's the prism even? Is it is it higher up? I'm not even sure where it is, to be honest, at this point. Did he move it over here? Where, 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 where is that prism? He's just being... Oh, he is there. Okay, I don't even know how he got there, to be honest, but well done. Now, my army is most... What is that? Okay, my army is mostly tanks, and that's not fantastic news. Uh, that's why I don't want to get these planetaries up, but I'm scared, because it, it feels like the time for me to move out has come. But I also don't want to move out, because my, my army is questionable. My army really is questionable. I have five gajillion tanks... And that is basically my army. Oh, this is huge. Here we go. We're going to kill all of these Vikings. I need to siege ASAP, though. The, the siege timing was good, but there is a lot of Zealots. Oh, that's not the best movement by him. Let's make sure to target those. I'm going to target the Templars. The Templars are gone. I'm targeting the Stalkers as well. They moved in a little bit too fast without each other. And, I mean, my supply is not looking amazing, but it's definitely pretty good. I, I want to guess, especially in comparison to them, that there's some... Okay, that's an overload. I saw something coming to my main base, and I really didn't want to, uh, <laughs> you know, get owned by like one drop or something like that okay gonna move the marines behind the tanks now the terran still has a lot of tanks i do know that protoss does have a good amount of economy guys that is not uh, the best news ever protoss has an amazing economy in fact with that gold base and when are my medivacs finally coming into play this liberator is doing a great job too um what is my next play i think i need to take the gold base myself yeah i, I think i need the more, more marines on the field as well when i get my two two upgrades 
think I'm gonna fall back momentarily because I don't want to die uh, to some freaking zealots a moving my tanks. It, it happens pretty easily, guys. <laughs> Trust me on that one. So, okay, let's see. What is this drop? This drop is gonna be pretty decent. Basically gonna make sure that I can, uh, you know, deny the Zerg player again. I feel like I've made them waste a lot of money because they gave it to the Zerg player and I just keep killing it in like super hyper efficient trades. Now what I'm gonna do with this drop is I'm just gonna check if there's any bases taken on uh, the left side. There is gonna be a little bit of creep now. That's gonna be tough to deal with. I'm gonna have to go around all of it. It's also possible that they just stop giving stuff to the Zerg player at some point because they were like, yeah, okay, they haven't really helped him rebuild. Or did I... No, I, I didn't kill every single drone because he has the, the hatch here, right? Yeah, well, they actually didn't give him anything, man. These guys are brutal. Oh my goodness. Let the man play. Not just kidding. They, I mean, they're just doing what's best for them, right? But it is, it is kind of funny somehow. All right, let's see. What does Terran player have? Oh, yeah, I forgot that I completely erased the base of that Terran player. That, that was not a bad play, guys. Kind of happy with that one. Uh, wait, oh, this drop should go here. Let's see. Yeah, okay, it is not fully defended. That base is almost mined out already, though. Uh, that is kind of annoying. I'm going to try a drop on top of those tanks. Let's see. Not quite. One more. All right, there we go. We got that tank. That's really nice. And he is... Oh, we got all the probes. That's super nice. Uh, at least most of them. He's going to try blink forward, but maybe a little bit. Yeah, preemptively. That's awesome as well. Let's try to kill this command center over here. Can I kill another one of those tanks? Probably not. I'm kind of surprised to see yes combat shield on those, by the way. I really thought it was just going to be like a, a full mech play. Now, we get that command center too, which is nice. I'm going to be able to kill this tank. What are the upgrades on those 2-1? I'll just move close enough because I'm not going to sure if we kill it in time. There we go. The Terran's economy now is also pretty much gone. I think it's time for me to kill these rocks now so I can uh, a little bit more freely move out. There's going to be another tank going down, I think. He's not paying attention. Well, he's paying attention, but he doesn't... Why have the units in time? Can I get away with you? This, this is... Oh, no. I thought it was going to stay alive. It would have been such a good distraction. But well, let's get the gold base myself. I think that is a good plan. Let's see. Okay, so there are... A little, wait, maybe I can just force him to attack into me. That overlord is kind of an all-seeing owl. Right? It's really good that he's moving that, by the way. That's a fantastic play by him. But maybe I can bait him. Let's see. Yeah, just attack into me. It's, it's, it's all right. You can do it. I believe in you. Get in here. <laughs> oh my god, he would get destroyed. This is so many CC. Not the obvious, man. I, I gotta do what I gotta do. What can I say? No, don't, don't blame me. I gotta do what I gotta do. Okay, so I'm gonna move forward slowly with these. Um, where do I want to get exactly? Okay, so that's a really big mech army on the high ground. I mean, we are gonna get surrounded pretty massively, I think. Okay, they're, they're playing this very well. I have to say they're playing this very well. I think it's time for me to go for some liberators, perhaps. Okay, if you want to attack into this, I will uh, gladly welcome you with open arms. Let's see, I do need to get turrets and um, a sensor tower up there. Okay, let's see. So his army is over there. I, I think this is pretty good. If he attacks into me, it's going to be really good for us. Yeah, he really doesn't want to do that. I've been able to dodge every single storm, uh, or at least stay out of danger of storm, I should say. Oh, he's attacking in now. That's also totally fine. I'm just going to stay away from the storms. Let me target those Templars with my tanks. Got a bunch of them. And now I think I need to remake my stuff with a little more quality. So instead of going for uh, more marine tank, I really think it's time for us to start going for some liberators here. Um, I could also go for Vikings or Battlecruisers. Oh, he's going to attack again. That is so many Zealots that are going to die every time. What I'm going to do here is build some turrets so it's actually a safe position. I don't want to lose these two DTs because I'm going to do a massive drop, okay? This is the plan. We're going to go for a massive drop uh, and then I'm going to replenish that with... Um, a lot of liberators. Was that? A oh, that's his tank. Okay, I thought it was a liberator, but I guess I guess it wasn't quite. Okay, here we go. It's going to be a really nice drop. I don't think he's going to be able to do any. Yeah, he doesn't have uh, good enough upgrades on the marines. So even if he has as many marines as I do, he wouldn't be able to do anything against them. Now let's see if I can get these a little more forward to save my base here. And maybe, I mean, if they're so far out, let's see. Where's the Terran army? The Terran army is there. I really would love to kill the Protoss base. I think I'm just going to go for this. Yeah, this is, this is going to be a good play. I, I think this is exactly what I wanted to do. Here we go. Now, he did get owned a little bit. There's a couple Liberators there. He's going to try Storm. I'm not sure if that's going to work out. Wait, can I target the High Templars? Look at the Templars, guys. The Planetary Splash on the Templars. Oh my god, that is insane. There's no Templars left. This Planetary is going to survive and the entire Protoss army has been deleted. I'm pretty sure the Terran army moved away from here. Uh, so maybe I can move forward with this army finally. He's warping in some more but it's a little bit too close. The Terran army is retreating, though he really should have been staying here. Now I have the position, which is awesome. There might be a storm on that one. Let's see. Barely not. Okay, there is a storm. Oh. 
I actually split into his storm because I expected him to storm my army. Now we're going to be able to kill that base. And is that a battlecruiser I saw? No, it's not okay. It's a fleet of Vikings. I mean, it's also pretty scary. Now, keep in mind what I said about the upgrades. These Marines are going to do better than they should, uh, which is really, really nice for us. Now, it could be smart for me to make some Vikings anyway, because that's one of the more threatening things I could go up against, right? Let's try to get these bases over here. Uh, does he have an army? It doesn't really look like it. I could probably just siege this location down here. Should I make sure that... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to send a couple units around just to make sure they didn't sneak in a base at some point. Like, I think that makes sense to do. Now, he can't... Yeah, you can't do that. That's, that's too many tanks. I mean, he did take the opportunity. That's well done by him. He did take the opportunity. He saw that the right way, but that is just going to hurt. I'm going to move back. Yeah, they might still be in range. Exactly. That's what I thought. I'm going to move them back a little bit. And now I have my one Marine exactly. <laughs> this is going to help me deny these Vikings. Now, there's a couple of DTs, but they get blown up as well. And I think we have denied enough economy at this point, guys. I don't think there's a base in the top right. There is also no base over here. And as soon as we have enough stuff to break that, we will. Now, I am... Comp Look how all these gases are freaking mined out. Oh, my... I was wondering why it's so little gas. This base is mined out, too. This has been a longer game than it felt like because it's just so freaking action-packed. Oh, that's a good liberator, no? Now I gotta make sure I get out of there. That's a good move. See if I can get this. Dude, it looks disgusting. Why is my base covered in, in, in creep? That's just, that's that's not cool. Okay, I, I, I don't vibe with this at all. Now, I, I just need a few Vikings. My Vikings are gonna arrive soon. Maybe I'm gonna get servos for them as well. Um, do I have enough? Oh, well, with the two Vikings, I could probably win, but I kind of want to do it a little more efficiently. Okay, let's see. I want to make sure I don't lose the liberators. My first Viking is dead. Um, I think I might have killed a liberator for it. I'm not 100% sure. I don't have any upgrades on the Vikings, though. And that's that's where he has the upgrade advantage. That's interesting. For the first time in the game, there is actually an upgrade disadvantage for me here. Okay, the liberators did the work. Now I can pull them back. Now my Vikings are going to do the rest of the job here, I think. Um, do need to make sure I siege in range. There we go. That one's going to die. That one's going to die now, too. And now my Liberator that should have range. Oh, two of them survived, actually. The Liberators that do have range are going to be able to siege those tanks away. If I'm lucky, he's going to unsiege and then we'll just be able to go for it. This, oh, here we go. This is the time. Time to show some splitties, guys. We're going to have to split against those Templars. Well, it's probably not the best idea to move in against that, to be honest. But I uh, guess we're going to have to take it slightly slower. I'm just going to siege my Liberators one by one. There's nothing he can do against the Liberators at all. Not even the Templars. Nothing he has can deal with those Liberators. Another tank is going to fall. And now all we need is just one more push for the win, where I hopefully don't get absolutely annihilated by a couple Storms. There we go. Sir Vlad has called the GG. Good Storms by uh, Mr. Protoss over here. Obviously, he he really wanted to do that but i don't think it's gonna matter there we go let me type gg back as a sign of respect protoss ggs as well i'm not even sure if the zerg is still alive and the zerg ggs and we have done it guys two different teams two different matchups and we have beaten the three platinums i think what's up next is probably gonna be five golds i also have some cool ideas like two players against ten golds or something like that and after that we're gonna go for four platinums i'm exhausted this was an awesome episode awesome game shout out to all the players for joining me of course remember their names and for now if you guys really enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like subscribe to the channel and I'll see y'all for the next one adios